Today we are comparing different bass drum heads. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm trying something new here. I'm guessing most of you guys who are watching this video know me for this kind of stuff. But I actually also play music in a band called Panache, in which I play bass, sing background vocals, and also do everything recording, mixing, and mastering related. And the truth is, I don't think I've ever been completely satisfied with our kick drum sound, so I thought it might be fun to try a few different bass drum heads. And I'd like to take a minute to thank Evans Drum Heads for sponsoring this video and for providing us with the six different 22 inches bass drum heads from their EMAT series. But as you can imagine, we are not recording drums in here. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that it's quite a small room and it's already full with guitar and bass gear. So I'll quickly grab the essentials and we'll head over to my friend Cesar's studio. <laughs> I'm taking my trusted pearl demon drive with me. I'm also taking one of my older Lumix G7 cameras just to have a second angle. And I'll also take a few drumsticks just in case. <laughs> So the first thing we need to do is set everything up. And while Cesar sorts out the patch, I think I'll get started changing the riser head. I removed everything inside when changing the batter head, but then decided to muffle the kick drum just a little bit using this blanket. The key feature of these EMAT drum heads is in the name, which stands for Externally Mounted Adjustable Damping System. And that means you have a plastic sleeve going all around the drum head, which you can leave as is, but you can also insert one of the two foam rings that come with the head, and you'll get a different amount of dampening depending on the size of the foam ring. And of course, we're going to test everything here. Je me dis, on fait un truc un peu plus. What I'm telling Cesar here is that with so many great comparison videos out there, I'm thinking maybe it could actually be more valuable to share our impression both as the drummer and the sound engineer, and to put the focus on feel, which is going to be reflected in a very simple three mic setup. The classic Shure Beta 52 inside the kick drum, then a small diaphragm condenser mic. <laughs> and we'll pick up what I'm hearing behind the kit and a mono room mic, which will approximate what you would hear if you were standing just two or three meters in front of the kit. All right, let's go. Tu reviens un café Ah ouais, je veux bien. Ça c'est 
After having recorded everything, we spent a good 30 to 40 minutes just listening back to everything, back to back, trying to each come up with a top three, and here they are. So I just got back from the studio and Cesar sent me the audio files and I'm happy to report that everything still sounds amazing. And after listening back to all the drum hits side by side a few times over, I think my preference is still with the UV coated one. And for me the EMAD one clear with no foam ring and the, the Onyx with the large foam ring are tied for second place. I personally didn't really care for the EMAD 2. I found it to be too scooped, too tacky and lacking a little bit of low end punch. But then again, everyone's taste is different. With this unusual three mic setup, I feel like you can get a very clear sense of the difference in character and overall balance from one drum head to the next. I hope we get to do the same for the snare drum heads. Dear Evans drum heads, if you are watching this video, pretty please. <laughs> That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. I left a link in the description box with the audio files from the session so you can listen to everything back on your system. And we'll end this video with a direct comparison with no talking in between. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye bye bye!